Um, people probably get sick of these stupid videos that people post of themselves talking to their phone on Facebook or YouTube, I'm sure. But I'm videoing this and I probably won't post it. We'll see. A lot of y'all know what's going on in my life. Um, I'm not supposed to say specifically, but let's just say I'm a single mom for the moment. And it has really opened my eyes about that life and what that life means to a lot of women who are dealing with that. Some, it's because of divorce. Some, because the dad is not in the picture. Some, because the dad is deployed. Some, because the dad is dead. You know, I don't know. Um, but it's a hard life. And it's, it's almost impossible at times. Um, I have two beautiful children, two wild, beautiful children. And I find myself every day counting my failures and looking at the mountain of things that I did not do, that I need to do that I know is just not going to get done. Um, laundry, cleaning the house, um, you know, paperwork, whatever. And it gets so overwhelming. It gets so depressing. And you feel just like you're not going to make it some days. Um, Liam, my oldest, got a report card and he got a conduct letter of a C and in our house, like anything below a B is, you know, failing, I think, in conduct. And so I emailed the counselor and I emailed the teacher and I was trying to figure out what caused the grade. And um, and also he had been tardy thirteen times and he's seven, so technically that's not his fault. It's my fault. So I saw the teacher and I said, you know, what caused the conduct grade and has, is he doing better with the grade? And she said, well, he's doing better, but, you know, he doesn't get here until uh, 8.15 usually and literacy group starts at 8.30 and he wants to talk and not do his work and so... If he got here earlier, then he would probably do better. And of course, that makes you feel like crap because it's my fault that he's not getting there on time because I have so much to do in the mornings and I'm one person and I'm fighting with kids to get ready and all that. And then she said, and he's not getting his homework done. So, I have just quit a job recently, I had two, and I quit one so that I could do more with my kids. And during the time that I was working the two jobs, there were nights that we didn't get home until seven. And my son likes to throw wild cards, and the wild cards are, I didn't get any of my homework done when I was supposed to at nine o'clock at night. So I have a choice, get him out of bed, get his backpack, get his folder, get his homework, and sit there and fight with him for 30 minutes. Or he just goes to school without getting his homework done and he loses a little bit of recess. And so I chose the natural consequence of you're going to lose some recess. And so he just started to be like, well, I just won't do my homework. I'm just going to lose recess. So finding out that his conduct grade was basically because I can't do it. I can't do school I can't manage it all. And then I, uh, <clears throat> I started listening to, you know, pastors online to kind of help me 
It just kind of helps me feel like I'm not alone. And uh, I started talking about, you know, the Gospels. And so I was like, well, you know, I'm going to read the Gospels. And uh, I read Matthew. And like the first chapter is just like the lineage of Christ. And it, you know, goes into all the people. And it was like... Rahab, who was a prostitute, and Josiah's dad, Amon, who was a horrible person, and, you know, even David, and Bathsheba, and and Solomon, and Tamar, and all the people that were in the lineage of Christ, and, you know, I don't know, I don't think that a lot of things were written in the Bible all by accident, I don't think anything was written in the Bible by accident, but it just opened my eyes to the fact that... Jesus Jesus came from imperfection. Mary wasn't perfect. Joseph wasn't perfect. And his lineage wasn't perfect. And I just felt, you know, the Holy Spirit tell me, like, your kid is going to be late to school. Your kid is not going to get their homework done. But what matters is... That you, sorry, that you are loving them through it. And that you are teaching them about me. And you're teaching them how to love other people. And be a good friend. And yes, school is important. And I'm not saying that it's not. But it is one part of life. And, you know, I just felt, again, the Holy Spirit saying that my grace is covering you right now. And I just feel like if you're a mom and you're struggling with not feeling like you're enough, just know that Jesus didn't come from perfect. And you don't have to be perfect. And every day, there is grace for all the things that you haven't done and you can't do. Anyway, my kids are throwing rocks at each other, so I better handle that situation.